I did want to highlight the the one medication that that there is some successful uh, research behind because for one reason it's a, a success and and those can be hard to find in uh, in the eosinophilic gastroenteritides, um, but also because it's a it's a commercially available medication with a very with a uh, much more pleasant side effect profile than uh, systemic steroids, and so uh, Montelukast or Singular, which is an allergic use, used in allergic diseases, which is a leukotriene receptor antagonist, essentially um, it it blocks one of the pathways for inflammation in allergic diseases. Um, it's used in asthma and other allergic disorders. Um, and there are case reports of it, uh, it's used as a steroid sparing agent. And while, when you only have case reports, it's also nice to see some kind of uh, physiological data. And there is animal data in, uh, uh, with a kind of a proof of concept um, to the use of Montelukast. And they basically challenged mice given Montelukast or placebo. Um, and they measured body weight, bloody eosinophils, and, uh, and then they assessed GI biopsies. And again, you know, when you're lacking any kind of data, having anything that, uh, that gives a weight to the, to the potential use of a, of a medication in rare diseases, it's, uh, it's nice to see. And they, they essentially saw uh, resolution of, uh, of weight loss in these, uh, in these animals on the Montelukast compared to placebo. Um, and then they saw a, a marked uh, um, normalization uh, of the of blood eosinophils, and then it's going to be tough to see. But uh, I'll take uh, I'll take the author's word for a bit that they also showed normal biopsies or only mild damage compared with more severe in uh, um, in the uh, placebo group. 